I want to give her head a pat so bad. And yet, if you touch her hair, you might very well get burned. Well, hello there, I'm Detroit. I usually wait a little bit before telling you, but I'll do it now. Subscribe! Now, before I start talking about Volcano Girl here, the star of today's show, let me say something else real quick. In any video of mine, feel free to comment with drawing ideas. I have a lot of inspiration, but I also would really like to draw your prompts sometimes. Volcano Girl. It's a character design idea I just had. As the name implies, I want to draw a girl that is or looks like a volcano. Bright red hair for lava, red scarf but darker, green jacket that is muddy at the bottom to make an earth cone around her. You know, your classical volcano look. Spoilers, but she's walking on what could be either a snowy street or maybe it's ash falling from the sky. Dot dot dot. I think she erupted and destroyed a city and now feels bad about it. Or she is in the snow and a bit cold, even though she has a huge hunter's jacket. I mean, under the coat, she probably needs more than just boobs. After painting the broken wooden doll last week, a link to the video in the top corner by the way, I really want to use the same painting technique. The brush is honestly really nice and I want to experiment more with it. Character design is something I love doing. I've done a lot of these and I'm wondering how I can reconcile the two. Concept character design and painting style. Note that Volcano Girl is a cute girl and technically has elemental powers, but she isn't one of the sisters. They're not in the same universe. The whole cute girl character design series of drawings I did doesn't include this one. The style is completely different and the sort of colors I use too. You can see that for the entire painting process, I kept the color swatch or color palette on the side of the canvas for reference. You see, when painting, you can easily get carried away by nuances in your colors and get further from your original idea. The whole vibe of this Volcano Girl painting is gray. What I mean by that is the mood. It's very wintry, dark without being dark. This is the kind of drawing where you start with an array of colors and then as you go on, you keep making it darker and darker. Having the palette on the side prevents me from doing that too much. As you can see, I have a bit of trouble painting the face. Drawing a face is really hard and usually it's easier with line art because you can correct the features pretty easily, but here it's all painting. Nuancing the tones on the face is much less defined than a line art, especially with a fuzzy brush like the one I'm using. As you can see later, I ended up making the eyes smaller because they didn't look right. They were too manga-like, which didn't add up with the rest of the style. One thing you can note is that I don't flip my canvas horizontally a lot. That is, in general, a bad idea. I flipped it a lot during the sketching phase to make sure I had the proportions more or less right, but then I stopped. The only reason I felt confident enough that I didn't need to do it is because this painting took a while. I didn't do it in one sitting. I think I did it over the course of 5 days. So basically, every day when I opened up the Photoshop document, my eyes had already reset, if you will. I could clearly see the mistakes. Had I painted Volcano Girl in only one sitting, I would have for sure flipped the canvas a lot more. So that's a quick tip for you. Now I need to talk about light source. For a beginner artist, I heartily recommend that you have a defined light source. Have a strong light coming from one direction and then maybe add a secondary light on the opposite side. The setup for Volcano Girl is much much harder, as the light is diffuse and basically coming from nowhere in particular. Again, that has to do with the winter vibe. You know, when a winter morning is foggy and so grey that you can't really tell where the sun is? Everything is just illuminated by the light grey sky. I can only say that most of the lights come from behind Volcano Girl, but it's not strong enough to project heavy shadows. The only shadows there are are occlusion shadows, basically where two objects are close enough so that there is less light in between them. For example, between the scarf and the jacket. I really need to make a video about the sort of shadows and lightings there are. Even for me, that would be a great refresher. Plus, I haven't made a tutorial type video in a while. I'll think about it. While I'm at it, another topic of tutorial videos I want to make is how to use the layer styles in Photoshop. I don't necessarily want to make a video on that, but the more I draw with this program, the more I realize I don't understand them well. So having to make a video on that topic will force me to learn more. In almost every digital painting or drawing I create, I end up using layer styles. I don't talk about it a lot because every time it could be summed up as it just felt right. The only few layers I understand are multiply, color and soft light. 
Even overlay I use sometimes too, but I still don't understand it. Actually, you don't really need to understand it to use them. Most of the time you just scroll through the list and check if it looks good or not, then adjust the opacity of the layer. It only works for basic modifications though, as sometimes the result changes greatly with the same layer style but a different applied tone or value of saturation. And when you add two different layer styles on top of one another, then it's impossible to understand. For now. Wait till I make you that sweet sweet tutorial. All of that to say that I use quite a few styles of layers, especially on the background for this piece. The street behind Volcano Girl I wanted to be a cobalt street. The buildings on either side are only implied and fade with background light. Again, I'm not sure if the street is a bit snowy or ashy, but it's definitely dirty. I used a few grey gradients to fade the cobbles away and multiply layers to make this or that darker. I also used other layers to make the backlight more or less saturated, etc, etc. I couldn't tell you exactly what or why I did some of the things, it just felt right in the moment for the result I wanted to achieve. The perspective of the street leads up to Volcano Girl's face, and so does the light, the scarf, the red hair and the eyes. That's pretty good, because the further away you are from her head in this design, the less clear and pretty it gets. If the eyes of the viewer are focused on the bright red hair, no one will look at her feet or at the street. Her right hand, down by her side, is also very basic and not well done, but it doesn't have to be because you won't look at it. The last nail in the coffin when it comes to taking your attention to her is drawing snow everywhere but in front of her face. To top it all off, I blurred the snow layer. Or ash again, she's a volcano so it could very well be ash. One thing I want to mention is that I drew the background and a character in two different groups of layer, you could say. So one of the last steps to this painting process is to combine the two elegantly. You see, the shape of the girl's silhouette is much too crisp for the vibe, so it doesn't like fit right. I have to make her silhouette softer and faded with background so it looks like she fits there. One thing that works well in that case is to paint with low opacity right behind her, using the colors that are on her. Then, with the softest eraser I have, I take off some of the fuzziness. That makes a slightly more acceptable silhouette. And this is how I painted Volcano Girl. Turns out it's much harder to paint a fully fledged human than a broken doll, but also more satisfying. I hope you learned a thing or two. Subscribe to be sure you don't miss any of my content and the upcoming tutorials I talk about during this commentary. All my art you can find on my Instagram at the link in the description. Like and comment, it's always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!